Hey everyone, thanks for joining me on today's review of Disney's Encanto's House of Charms board game. It is a 3D collaborative game um, in the shape of Casita. You combine your powers to keep the magic alive and work together as a family. I'm really excited um, to play this. It says in the back, the magical... A Madrigal house is in danger of losing its magic. The whole family needs to help save the magic by placing the charms all over. A boyless candle will brighten the more rooms of the house you can secure, but will dim if the danger gets too close. Secure all rooms with the charms before a boyless candle goes out. I am just really excited. We're going to kind of open this up and play it and see what it's like. Um, I'm going to get my family together, so be right back. Okay, so this um, house does need um, a little bit of a setup. It has quite a few pieces that you need to kind of get together. Um, back wall, side walls, tower floor, middle floor, bottom floor, base, and such. Um, but when it's together, it's a really cool look. Um, I really like it. You can play as four different players. You have Antonio, Isabella, you have Luisa, and uh, Maribel, of course. Um, the play is, like I said, fairly simple. Um, it kind of reminds me on how you can play Candyland um, on the way that it's set up. Um, let me go through some of the instructions here um, and kind of go over some of the play as well. Um, but overall, like I said, I, I was super happy with the look of this once we did get it built. Um, and the play was, like I said, very simple as well. Um, so the object of the game, um, and I'll have the other set of instructions up here in a minute, is we basically have to cover the cracks of each room with charms. We cooperatively play as a family to secure all the magic of all six rooms in the house before the candle showing through Abuela's window is extinguished. Each room is uniquely colored and has a matching door. So all the doors are there. You have Bruno's door, Maribel's door, Isabella's door, Peppa's door, Antonia's door, and Abuela's door. They're all like not lit up at the moment. Our job is to secure with charms and get those doors lit up so that we can save the magic of Casita. Um, and like I said, it says each room is uniquely colored, has a matching door. The door of each room will tell you the four charms of its specific color to secure it. Antonio's, for example, Antonio's room is dark green, so it has four dark green charms. Um, the setup is once you get it all set up, um, you basically um, turn the spinner in Abuelo's room to the top of the house so that it's at its midway point. Um, that is the kind of pink color. This is the starting point. And then you basically go up and down in dimness, um, depending whether you get different cards or um, adding charms and when you light up a door then you can light up a boyless candle or it darkens and if it does darken then if it goes all the way where it goes out then you lose the game but um, you start out with um, dividing up all the charms so you get 24 charms of different colors and shapes um, for each uh, individual person so for example um, when you divide it evenly um, there's one two three four players that are playing andy's on a team with sarah then we divided the charms six per person um then we use those charms um to basically follow along with the instructions per the cards and the board to get the doors lit up and secured um like i said uh, again each room is differently colored has a unique door the door of each room will tell you which charms of that color are need to secure it um, you shuffle the cards and then place them within reach of the players. It basically each card will tell you how many spaces to move or what action to take. Um, so you have your number cards that are the spaces, enchantment cards that basically raise the flame to be brighter. Um, so you can turn that little spinner near Abuela's window. You have spell cards that lower the flame of the candle. And then family power cards. This is a cool little feature. You get one of those and then you have to say something nice to another player. And then you guys can collaboratively put a charm in of your choosing that you have on a space on the board. Um, so then there's also the spaces on the board so you can land on a specific charm and if you have that charm so like if you had a green Antonio charm then you might be able to use that charm when you land on the board to put it over in a cracked space on the house then you have Mirabelle's glasses that basically means the magic of the house calls upon you to place your mover 
at the tower top level and then all players must decorate a room of their choosing with one of the charms that they have and you stay on the tower until your next turn basically at the end of that turn um, and you start of your next turn you go and start at the beginning of the game again but it's a good way for everyone to have a chance to place a charm on it um, then there's like these thunderbolt charms um, they're not really thunderbolt charms they're symbols but basically the weather has changed and when you land on the spot immediately go to the next closest spot that has the weather icon on that board and then there is a spot that has like a snake with a minus one um, that means magic is lost and you basically take a charm off that you've already placed on the house and keep it back in your group of charms again um, you know to decorate rooms with charms you basically you land on a space that a charm symbol is on you draw a family power card or if you or another player lands on a magic icon then you can collect all the charms once all the doors are lit up um, basically you've secured all the rooms you can turn all the doors to be lit up and then um, you basically hold hands and say Encanto and you all win so this is basically a collaborative game you either all win or you all lose and that's what it says in the instructions is it says secure all six rooms with charms and um, we didn't really do that the first time we weren't successful as you can sell so oops we had to reset the board and try again um, but yeah so that kind of is how the game goes you either all win or you all lose um, you know secure the rooms make sure that a boilers candle doesn't go out um, make sure that everybody collaboratively plays together. It's just a positive way to work together and, you know, be positive with one another. It's a great family game. Um, overall, I love the 3D look of the board game itself. I think it looks great. I think um, that it was well put together. It wasn't too difficult to put together with some adult help, obviously, um, parents, grandparents, if you're buying this for kids, just make sure that you're helping your children um, put this together. Otherwise, there might be a little bit of stress. I think the biggest downside is the bottom base of the game board was not attached to the actual 3D portion of the house, so that kept sliding every time we tried to put a charm down and or attach it to the house, and so that was a little frustrating. But overall, the play is, like I said, super simple. Any age two and up could play this with some adult help um it really was not an overly difficult game to master or conquer and it was super fun um and you could probably play this over and over maybe get a good amount of time of play out of it and so i really cannot complain about this purchase i did get this on target for about 14.99 so 15 dollars with tax um it was on target online and um, I'm pretty sure you can find it somewhere else online, like on Amazon as well, and a couple other places. But that was where I bought it, was on Target. So if you did want to purchase it, I'll put the link down below in the description so that you guys can purchase this game if you're so interested. So I'm going to let you guys um, just basically uh, watch us play the game. Um, I'll be back towards the end of the video and uh, hope you guys enjoy.
so yeah i hope uh everyone enjoyed the video and um like i said this is definitely a fun purchase i loved playing this with my family i loved the game overall um i thought it was just yeah goodbye um you know Encanto is just one of those fantastic movies that has come out lately I think it has become a cult phenomenon um and so this is a great addition to any of you fans out there who love this movie and would love to add this to your collection any Disney files and such so um enjoy and uh here's a close-up of the game so you can take a look at it take care guys hope you like my channel today just don't forget to hit that subscribe button or like the video if you liked it and we'll see you next time